This is Rich Bracey of Bracey's A1 Septic, and I would like to show you what a residential sewer treatment plant looks like and how it works. The drawing we see here depicts the three different views of the sewer treatment plant. First, you will see the top view here in the upper left, the side view here below, and the cross section or width view. We will start with the dimensions and the material composition. The plant is rectangular shaped with an outside diameter of approximately 7.5 feet in length by 4 feet in width and a depth of 5.5 feet. This particular example is made of concrete and its walls are from 3 to 4 inches thick. Other treatment plant types are made of either thin sheet metal or plastic. Naturally, the concrete plant is much stronger and will last a lifetime. The metal plants generally last for about 15 years before rusting out, and the plastic will work for years, but only if the top is within few, a few inches of the ground, where it cannot be collapsed by the weight of the earth. As you can see here in the side view, the strip of green depicts the ground surface. The top of the plant is usually placed below the ground surface from a few inches to as much as three or four feet. The depth is determined by the installer so that the inlet to the plant is just below the lowest point of the house drainage pipe so that it will maintain an easy flow from the house to the plant by gravity. By the way, the pipe you see sticking up to the ground surface is a six inch diameter PVC pipe that is for inspection of the condition of the tank, whether it is liquid waste or solid. If thick liquid or if thick solids can be seen, the plant would need pumping out. However, not from this pipe, as more than a few unscrupulous septic tank servicemen will do. But by pulling out this concrete hatch in which the pipe is incorporated, and from the second hatch you see here so that both chambers can be adequately cleaned. Now, as we look inside, you can see that the plant is composed of one tank with two chambers, divided by a wall or baffle that extends down from the top of the plant to within about four or five inches from the bottom. The first chamber is for aeration and the second is for clarifying or settling out before leaving the treatment plant. Now let's see how it all works. Wastewater from the house flows through a four inch diameter PVC pipe to the sewage treatment plant here. This is the aeration zone and as the name says, it is where the wastewater is aerated by an air bubbler called an air diffuser as shown. The diffuser is a vertical PVC pipe, usually with a one half inch diameter, that reaches down to three or four inches from the bottom of the tank, where it tees off and then ends with capped vertical legs. The horizontal part of the tee has four to eight quarter inch holes where the air from an air pump bubbles out through the pipe to aerate the wastewater. The aeration helps specific bacteria that utilize oxygen to break down the solid waste. The effluent from the process is relatively clean and gives us none of the gases such as methane or the smelly hydrogen sulfide that are the byproducts of the old septic tanks. The wastewater, once aerated, decomposes the solid waste and passes under this wall and into the clarifier where most of the fine solids settle out. The purified wastewater then passes as effluent from the overflow pipe you see here out to a leach field or directly to a culvert or ditch. By the way, this is an overflow system which means that the tank is always full of wastewater up to the overflow pipe. Let's say that you flush two and a half gallons from your toilet. The two and a half gallons flow into an aeration chamber which results in two and a half gallons of purified wastewater flowing out the overflow. The residential sewer treatment plant is normally 750 to 1,000 gallons by volume, but they are rated as 500 gallon plants. Why is this? It is because the tanks are not rated by volume, but by the gallons per day that they can treat. So that the 500 gallon means 500 gallons per day, or as you will see on the label sometimes, 500 GPD. Well, that's all there is to it. If you have any questions on any aspect of this subject, just give me a call. 225-715-5784. I will be glad to help you. See you later.